Hello everyone, this is the Developing China. Welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss a topic with you. Today, I am glad to bring a new topic about first lithography machine, China's first step of technology independence. Core enablers of the Internet of Everything, 28 nanometers chips form the dividing line between mid and high end integrated circuit manufacturing. It is these in mid range and low end chips that will cater for most of the future demand for chips as artificial intelligence, AI, features and functions are embedded in the rapidly growing population of more or less autonomous connected devices. These devices range from cars to smart traffic lights and companion robots to biomedical devices. How important is it to China, and how did researchers make it? Let's find out. The opening of the last century 80s in China promotes its economy integrating in global economy. With China's economy bloom and its proper long-term strategy, capability of various industries is accelerating by economic development, which also gets attention from Western countries. Lithography is one of the core technologies of the entire chip and AI industry. And how important is the lithography machine to the industry? And how has been China tackling the research when Western countries tried to stop China from developing? Let's find out. So how difficult is it to produce the lithography machine? Why are there only a few lithography machine companies in the world today with the rapid development of science and technology? Next, let's take a look at the mystery. Since 2005, the traditional chip technology, DUV, deep ultraviolet lithography, has gradually reached its limit. 7 nanometers is the physical limit of DUV, and there is nothing the giants can do. In 2007, the American Symer company suddenly announced that they had made a breakthrough in the extreme ultraviolet EUV, light source, which dropped a blockbuster to the entire semiconductor industry. EUV technology has developed a tool for screening candidate EUV resist formulations for possible use in other EUV tools. The tool is integrated with the extremely reliable 10W EUV source manufactured by Energetic Technology Incorporated. The new tool uses a novel optical system to illuminate the resist coated wafers or reticles for outgassing studies. The tool simultaneously exposes a witness sample and the resist while continuously monitoring in-band reflectivity, allowing the users to evaluate the change in reflectivity resulting from outgassing of the photoresist on the mirror. The system is equipped with a high-sensitivity UHV RGA detection system to allow fast data acquisition rates to quantify resist outgassing products. China has forward every step with great difficulty in lithography machine. According to data released by the International Semiconductor Industry Association, SEMI, global semiconductor production equipment sales reached $71.2 billion in 2020, an increase of $11.4 billion from $59.8 billion in 2019, a year-on-year -year increase of 19%. Equipment sales in the mainland China market rose 39% year-over-year to $18.72 billion. Due to the popularity of 5G and the demand for working from home brought about by the new crown pneumonia epidemic, investment in semiconductor foundries is booming. My country's technology accumulation and talent pool in lithography machines are relatively insufficient only with the capacity to produce some low-end lithography machines. As early as 2008, China established a special organization to research lithography machines and also launched lithography machine projects. 
It is listed as a 863 major scientific research plan, which is enough to show that China attaches great importance to lithography machines. After decades of unremitting efforts by Chinese researchers, Shanghai Microelectronics has finally developed a lithography machine. China has independently developed a 28 nanometer lithography machine, which successfully broke the technological monopoly of lithography machines in Western countries. And mass production is about to be realized around 2022. This indicates that the situation in which China's chip development has been stuck by foreign countries is about to completely change, which will bring about earth-shaking changes to the development of China's high-tech technologies. In April 2019, it is the team led by Gan Zongsong in Wuhan National Laboratory for Optoelectronics. They use a couple of laser beams and self-developed lithography machine to break through diffraction-limited beams, which carves the narrowest 9 nanometers line width. It has completely independent property rights, which is different from Western lithography technology. It won't be long for this 9 nanometers technology coming into application from laboratory, meanwhile, Chinese chip manufacturing will greatly reduce importing dependency. What's more, Chinese can make independent design on more advanced chip to take major position in heavier electronics competition. In June 2020, a homegrown 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine is scheduled to spin up from Shanghai Microelectronic Equipment by the end of this year and to be fabricating 48 nanometers and 28 nanometers chips for IoT devices on a proprietary Shanghai production line. At Semicon 21 in Shanghai in March, the company showed a scanner operating at 90 nanometers. The management recently reported that improving yields at 48 nanometers and 28 nanometers remains a challenge but SMEE technology now has the basic homegrown UV capability free of USIP to fabricate chips. It is too early to assess just how much of a game-changer SMEE might prove to be and at what scale SMEE and other Chinese DUV machines may be operating by 2025 at down to 5 nanometers. But SMEE has already defied expectations with its progress in a fiendishly difficult area of technology. For a long time after the lithography process entered the sub-28 nm process, the cost of 16 nanometers and 14 nanometers was higher than that of 28 nanometers. Contrary to the way Moore's law works, this also makes 28 nanometers process technology extremely cost effective. In practical applications, the 28 nanometer lithography machine can not only produce 28 nanometer chips, but also is expected to produce 14 nanometer, 10 nanometer, and 7 nanometer chips through multiple exposures. Although there is still a large generation gap between my country's independent lithography machines and foreign advanced levels, the future can be expected. In July 2020, the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences made progress in computational lithography technology research. The key pattern screening technology is the key technology that determines the speed and effect of the light source mask optimization technology, SMO, one of the main computational lithography technologies. The Information Optics and Optoelectronics Technology Laboratory of Shanghai Institute of Optics and Mechanics, Chinese Academy of Sciences, proposed the SMO key mode screening technology and cooperated with the research team of the Institute of Microelectronics, Chinese Academy of Sciences to conduct simulation and verify it using international mainstream commercial computational lithography software. The results show that the technology is superior to the international similar technology level. 
At present, the global semiconductor industry is undergoing the third major transformation marked by 5G and the Internet of Things, which provides an opportunity for the rise of China's semiconductor industry. Industrial transfer superimposes security needs, and the trend of localization of semiconductors is obvious. China is the world's largest chip consumer market. Global chip sales from Chinese companies are on the rise, largely due to increasing U.S.-China tensions and a whole-of-nation effort to advance China's chip sector, including government subsidies, procurement preferences, and other preferential policies. Just five years ago, China's semiconductor device sales were $13 billion, accounting for only 3.8% of global chip sales. In 2020, however, the Chinese semiconductor industry registered an unprecedented annual growth rate of 30.6% to reach $39.8 billion in total annual sales, according to an SIA analysis 1. The jump in growth helped China capture 9% of the global semiconductor market in 2020, surpassing Taiwan for two consecutive years and closely following Japan and the EU, which each took 10% of market share. Sales data for 2021 are not yet available. If China's semiconductor development continues its strong momentum, maintaining 30% CAGR over the next three years, and assuming growth rates of industries in other countries stay the same, the Chinese semiconductor industry could generate $116 billion in annual revenue by 2024, capturing upwards of 17.4% of global market share too. This would place China behind only the United States and South Korea in global market share. As the decade unfolds and moves towards a post more world shaped by big data, AI and by new chip architectures, packaging and materials, China could emerge as the leader at the post more inflection point. It has done so at previous technology inflection points. For example, it has achieved leadership in 5G, in high-speed trains, in quantum communications, and in big data-driven AI. It certainly has the motivation, capital and human resource, magnetism to attract foreign talent and sheer entrepreneurial energy and ingenuity to do so. It would be unwise to bet against it. Today we have talked about first lithography machine, China's first step of technology independence. How do you think about it? Your immediate reply is the encouragement that we can move on more videos in the future. Thanks for watching our video. If you love our videos, please share them with your friends.